Today on Liberty Live, trustee Christine Madisick gives us a brief history of Fort Liberty Playland, as well as fills us in on some of the great programming we have going on at Liberty Township Parks. Fort Liberty Playland has a special place in my heart um, of all of the parks that we have. Um, back in 1999, um, there was a group of us that uh, came together, worked together, and brought forth Fort Liberty Playland. This was a two-year process in the making, but it only took us six days to build this wonderful playland for our residents. And it was actually designed by the children in this community. So what's happened is that six days, we had over 300 volunteers, some of them coming back on multiple days, some of them skipping work, um, and others just being here to help to see the project through. We had multiple donors. I mean, we could not have done this with, with just the people that we had. We had businesses that donated equipment, donated materials. We had restaurants donating the food for our volunteers. We had volunteers creating volunteers, and we had daycare off-site so the parents didn't have to worry about their children. So it was a six-day period of just unbelievable cooperation. As you'll see here in Fort Liberty Playland, some of the partnerships that we've had, not only to build this iconic playland, but also the story time that we have in the parks and the storybook that's along this trail that's behind me. These are things that we've worked with Midpoint Library um, to bring to our residents. As a matter of fact, some of the story times, if, you, if you're on the right day, you might have one of our firefighters reading to you. Uh, this has been well received and uh, during COVID, the storybook um, along the trail that you can read and changes with the seasons has been a very welcoming site for families. Um, in addition to partnering with Midpoint Library, we have other partners like the Lakota Family YMCA in one of our parks, they do sunset yoga. Um, we also have, prior to COVID, we had a partnership with the Fitton Center of Creative and Performing Arts for Arts in the Park. So we're hoping that some of these will come back soon and uh, we look forward to many more partnerships. So if you're interested, let us know. <laughs> 